Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Eric Green, appreciate you stopping by. We are on our way to a job site right now. Uh, last video I mentioned we're gonna be doing a, I was gonna be doing a carpet uh, removal estimate while well, we went ahead and got the job. Sorry, there's an ambulance driving by right now. But anyway, so we have, we're doing that this morning and uh, hopefully we have some fun doing that. But anyway, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, if you're new. Uh, also, please like this video. I would appreciate it. And uh, we'll get going here now. All right, so I just pulled up and uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's not my favorite part of town. A little sketchy but hey their money still cashes so um still all good work i'm gonna flip this around here so you can see so this is the house again this area is not really known for its uh hospitality but uh we're gonna go in there and take a look and get, get started all right so here we are so we've got to remove all this carpet here and there's a few Two floors, we gotta get all the carpet off the steps, all the way up here. Carpet in here, all this nasty green carpet's gotta go. I don't know why they're not keeping this carpet. This is the most beautiful carpet ever. And uh, we already started up here. Okay, she told me you already used that joke. What's that? She told me you already used that joke about the carpet. Oh, <laughs> I did say that's her. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> up here, this had like this linoleum. So thankfully this linoleum came, we just peeled it right off. I was worried that it was gonna be uh, glued down real bad uh, in there too. So we already got a head start. We've only been here for about 12, 20 minutes or so. So I already have almost the top floor done. So hopefully it only takes us a couple hours. So we'll get going. So thankfully that carpet is not glued in. It's just stapled in, so it's coming off real, really easy, which is really great. Um, so we're making pretty good headway on it. The one thing we didn't talk about with the customer was removing the staples. So I'm gonna talk about that. If it ends up being a pretty laborious task, I'm gonna talk to her about charging more for it than the estimate, so. So I come in after going to the dump to dump out that, all that stuff in the trucks. So we have roof of the carpet. And look at this guy here. He just does like all the work on me. He ripped out everything. He didn't save any work for me. Look at this guy. Look at the guns on this guy, yeah? Yeah, all the all that. So now we have to take it all the way out to the truck. So, man, we're rock star. All right, so we're in the box truck now and we got a few pieces loaded up. Guys, this is why I personally love the box truck. You can fit so much in there, 14 feet. It's enclosed, um, you know, I just, I love it. You guys, you guys know I'm a big proponent of the box truck. I'm not saying anything bad about dump trailers because I do like the dump feature, but I just like having everything enclosed. That's me. Look at this, look at this guy bringing it down. He's a hustler, man. He's, he's, he's awesome. All the loose carpet from the steps. All right, so we're now on the floor. Uh, and we're taking the staples out of the floor. So, so as you can see, there's all these staples in, uh, in the floor. And so we have a nice little staple removal here, remover, remover, and uh, you know, they come out pretty, pretty good. Um, nice and easy. And this whole thing is only like five bucks from Lowe's. So it comes in handy. Um, pretty straightforward, you know, not a whole lot that goes into it, but that one's kind of stuck, kind of bend it.
All right, well, six hours later, and we're finally finished with this carpet removal job. So it's been it's been a lot. Uh, the hardest part was taking the tacks out, but uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So here's the after. So we got everything out. It's very important to clean up when you're done. Sweep up everything. You want to make it clean. Here's all the, all the steps that we got. Got to sweep up that pile a little bit, but other than that, good job, man. So we did good. So it took us six hours. It probably took us two hours just to rip off the carpet and about four hours to go throughout the whole house and take out all the tacks with the tack removal uh, tool that we had. So um, that probably took about three or four hours to do all that. Anyway, all in all, it was a pretty good job. So uh, we'll talk to you in just a second. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked this video. I uh, hope you found it informative and helpful. You know, I, uh, again, that was a pretty good day. She was very happy with the way everything came out. And of course, whenever a customer is happy with the results, always, always, always ask for a Google review. Very important because when potential customers go on Google and they see all the reviews that they have, they're gonna more likely go with you. I've had so many phone calls come in and say, hey, yeah, I was looking around and I saw all the reviews that you have and there's a lot of good positive stuff people were saying. So it's very important. What I say is, hey, I appreciate you giving us you know, the opportunity. Uh, if you wouldn't mind just Googling us, Googling Greens Junk Removal, that's the name of my company, or whatever the name of your company is, just say Google us and you know jot it down, and uh, and then just just leave us a review. It really helps my phone to ring. And saying that it really helps my phone to ring, um, it's just kind of lighthearted, but it's true. And uh, you know you get a lot of reviews. You could also text them the link as well, which is very helpful. So all in all, it was a very good day. It's very important when you're doing these demolition type jobs, which carpet removal is considered light demolition. It's important to remember that you need to make sure that you're charging for your labor. You don't have to break it down as far as what the labor cost is. You don't have to tell them that it's gonna be X amount per man hour. I don't do that, some people do. But you need to make sure that you're calculating not the actual disposal junk removal fee that you charge. So for instance, you know, that load that we just did, I mean, that may have only been maybe 300 bucks you know, 3 three fifty to dispose of all that carpet. Um, but I charged a heck of a lot more because of the actual labor involved of tearing it up and removing all those tacks and everything. So just make sure when you're doing any kind of demolition job, you're, you're not just charging for the disposal fee, you're really charging for the labor. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful again. Uh, again, subscribe if you wouldn't mind. And we're gonna do a, a clean out uh, hoarder clean out tomorrow so hopefully we'll be able to take a video of that you guys be blessed god bless you and we'll talk to you soon